subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus versus the Galaxy Note 9 speed test. Now this is an interesting comparison because a lot of you might have got a Galaxy S8 Plus a very long time ago, almost two years going on. When the S10 does drop, this phone will be two years around that age. So this one is definitely due an upgrade if you're into you know upgrading your phone rather frequently so let's go ahead and test the fingerprint speed i'm going to skip the boot up test because this has an at&t logo so that kind of slows it down so let's go ahead and test the fingerprints it does move to a more convenient location for the samsung galaxy note 9 3 2 and 1 and you can see it's not that much difference let's do it again 3 2 1 and you can see it's pretty close. Either way you go, you're gonna have a pretty fast fingerprint speed. It's just the location that really is gonna matter for the Galaxy S8 Plus in comparison to the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So let's go ahead and do that one more time, three, two, one, and you can see the Note 9 does seem to be just slightly faster. Sometimes it looks pretty close though, so I'm not calling this a real upgrade coming from the S8 Plus to the Note 9 in speed. Okay, so quickly looking at the software, Android 8.0, Point zero for the Galaxy S8 Plus, 8.1.0 for the Note 9, Samsung 9.0 for the S8 Plus, Samsung 9.5 for the Note 9. Now, this 8.0 upgrade to the S8 Plus was significant when it comes to improving the performance and the fluid feel of the phone. It's much better on Oreo than it was on prior versions for the S8 Plus. So this is gonna be a closer test than you might think. Let's get on to the application speed. Okay guys, so we've arrived at the application portion of this speed test. You can see all apps are closed on both. Can the 845 Snapdragon, eight gigs of RAM, Adreno 630, really be far ahead of the 835, four gigs of RAM, and Adreno 540 GPU over here on the S8 Plus? Let's find out. And let's begin with settings three, two, one. You can see that's ahead for the Note 9. Heading into clock, you can see that the Note 9 just a little bit swifter. Let's go into calculator. Again, just slightly faster animation there for the Note 9. What about Samsung Health? This one's clearly ahead here for the Note 9. Heading into the heart rate, you can see just slightly faster for that to open, and that makes a little bit of a difference on a day-to-day. -day. What about Samsung Internet? You can see Samsung Internet is a little faster again for the Note 9. What about Play Store? You can see Play Store jumps ahead a little bit there for the right, let's go into Instagram and see if the Note 9 retains its lead. And it does just slightly faster than the Note 9. Now this stuff, or than the S8 Plus. Now this stuff is not like major. So I don't think it's gonna really be the deciding factor here. But the Note 9 does open Snapchat first. Let's go into WhatsApp. You might wanna take a look at the S Pen, the 4,000 milliamp hour battery, the dual cameras. Those are the real upgrades here. If you're coming from an S8 Plus, you can see the Note 9 and the S8 Plus basically tie there. It was pretty close. S8 Plus a little bit ahead there on the trending tab. Scrolling through, not a big difference. You can see the S8 Plus just performs very competent and very well here for Android Oreo. Let's go into Twitter. You can see Twitter does open first. It looked, it looked a little faster, maybe, for the Galaxy S8 Plus. You let me know down below. Let's go into Amazon here. You can see Amazon does jump ahead here first on the right. Let's go ahead and click this image. You can see very similar stuff. So, I mean, these little things, these day-to-day -day tasks, they're not gonna be a huge difference, at least in the single core for the Note 9. Let's go into eBay, and you can see eBay does load first on the right. Let's click this computer, and you can see that was a little bit to the Note 9, just very, very tiny. Let's go into Prime Video. You can see the Note 9 with the win there. Let's hit Jack Ryan right here. And you can see very similar. So watching a movie, you're not gonna have no times waiting for either one of these. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. Is the gaming performance gonna be better here for the Note 9 and the low times at least are anyway. Let's hit play it. And you can see about the same here. Casual games are not gonna choke up either of these. Let's go into PUBG Mobile and see how long it takes to load these up. Now, this is going to take a second, so I will speed it up and we'll get to it when we get to the match page. Okay, so you've seen a clear advantage in the load time for the Note 9. So if you're going to be playing these heavier games, the Note 9 has a clear advantage here, at least in the speed department. And this can make the difference when you're online and you're live playing some other players you might actually have a little bit of a slower time on the S8 Plus, which could cost you a kill or something in a match, for example. So the Note 9 definitely is an improvement 
in the gaming department for heavier stuff. Let's go into Slither and you could see a little bit of a chop there for the SA Plus. Let's hit play against AI and that's probably showing how, you know, it's probably using up some RAM here and it's taking a little bit more power to power that Slither game. Let's go into Subway Surfers and you could see that Subway Surfers does open first here on the right for the Note 9 and we're ready to play this. So the Note 9 has shown that it's a clear winner here so far in these gaming applications. Let's go into Dead Trigger. And I might have missed that one. Oh, no, I didn't. It was just a little pause there for the SA Plus. So the SA Plus, definitely a little slower here to load Dead Trigger. Let's hit play and see what happens here for both devices. And you can see that the Samsung Galaxy, which Galaxy is going to be? The Note 9, easily ahead here of the SA Plus. And you've seen that that was pretty significant of a load time. So heavier stuff, the Note 9 is looking like a champ over this device. Let's go into Lightroom CC. And you can see that Lightroom CC is first again for the Note 9. So this is one of the more obvious clear difference speed tests we've seen so far against the Note 9 where the Note 9 is actually showing a true upgrade here. You can see Geekbench ahead again. Let's go into speed test. And I was running these at 1080p for this entire video. So they are the same way they come out of the box. You can see right there, resolution and PPI is very similar. So let's go ahead now and run through multitasking to see if we get any reloads. Beginning with speed test, you can see nothing there. And Geekbench, we can see nothing there. We're just looking for reloads here. And the Note or the SA Plus gives us a reload there. What about Lightroom? Nothing, a dead trigger and you can see nothing there so good stuff so far what about subway surfers nothing there what about slither and you can see both had that in the background so both performing pretty well here the note 9 there the sa plus with the reload so there we go with that four gigs of ram what about jetpack joyride you can see there goes the sa plus and this is your true upgrade multitasking 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 that is the note 9 upgrade let's go into ebay you can see the SA Plus slows down, but again, if you're just a casual smartphone user, you want that sleek design of the SA Plus, and you've seen Amazon reloaded for the SA Plus, then the SA Plus is still a good phone. I mean, it's not slow, it's just if you're gonna be running multiple apps heavily all day long, the Note 9 is the better performer. Let's go into, let's get out of there. Let's go back into YouTube, but you've seen it was a reload there for the SA Plus, I accidentally clicked it, but let's go into WhatsApp. You can see that the Note 9 didn't reload that, but the SA Plus did. Snapchat, Note 9 had that in the background. Here's where that eight gigs of RAM is a champ. And even the six gig of RAM, Note 9 is still probably just as competent as this one. So I think either Note you go with, you're getting a true upgrade here in speed and multitasking for this device. So this is pretty nice to see. We finally have two phones that are competing that actually shows a true difference here. And uh, let's hit settings. So you can see the Note 9 clearly wins both rounds, both single apps and multitasking apps here in the speed test. Okay guys, video rendering portion. I shot a similar video on both 30 seconds a piece. Let's hit done. And let's see which one can actually render this out first. So let's hit next here for the Note 9, next here on the SA Plus. And we're gonna share this in its highest resolution possible, 1080p at 30. We'll do it at 60 FPS full length. And over here, 1080p, let's rock this out at 60 FPS for that super smooth video. Let's go to gallery three, two, one, and see which one can open this first or render it out first. And the Note 9 jumping ahead significantly over the SA Plus. So here we go again. If you're gonna do some video rendering on your device, the Note 9's got that extra muscle for something like this as well. Okay, so the Geekbench scores are in single core 1817 SA Plus 2437 Note 9. You can see that's a nice improvement as well as the multi-core jumping from 5955 to 8237 here. Let's go ahead now and do a Wi-Fi speed test between both devices. Heading over into speed test and let's go into go here for the SA Plus and see what this gets first and then we'll do the Note 9. And you can see we got 179 on the download, 12.1 on the upload, very respectable speeds there for the SA Plus. Let's go ahead and jump on to the Note 9. 
Okay, so the Note 9 gets 178, 12.1, so about identical. They are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, but this showcases that both still have very fast Wi-Fi connection speeds on both. Let's go ahead now and quickly test their cameras. I just wanna see which one opens the camera first, three, two, one. And you can see the Note 9 slightly on that as well. We're not gonna miss that moment for either, but both do open them respectively quick here. Let's go ahead and do that one more time, three, two, one. And you can see the S8 Plus there. So both of them are respectively quick when it comes to opening their camera. Let's do one last test, internet speed test. Let's go ahead and go to the Nick Ackerman channel.com. So Nick Ackerman channel here and uh, three, two, one channel.com. Let's go over here, Nick Ackerman channel and see what we get. Very easy to type on these big keyboards here for either device. And I got Chan Nick over there. Let me put channel dot com three two and go and considering they had the same download speeds it shouldn't be that much difference and no it really wasn't the note 9 a little bit swifter let's hit best videos here and you can see the note 9 a little bit faster here for the internet so i think the note 9 is definitely going to be a little bit faster by I me mean, milliseconds difference neither one of them will disappoint in this area both have very immersive affinity displays as a matter of fact the S8 Plus feels a little more immersive. Okay, so we've arrived at the final conclusion and it's a pretty easy one. If you bought the Galaxy S8 Plus and you're ready for an upgrade, the Note 9 does offer significant upgrades. It's definitely faster and it will be felt on a day to day, but it's not that significant if you're not a heavy user. So if you don't find yourself, you know, opening a thousand apps at once and you don't find yourself doing things like you've seen in this video, like running games all day, then you're not really gonna notice a big difference. Your day to day task is gonna be very fast on both and don't get me wrong the s8 plus is still a flagship phone it's just not a multitasking beast like the galaxy note 9 and if you bought this phone when it first came out you definitely paid over 800 dollars around there for the s8 plus so switching from an s8 plus to a note 9 is definitely going to be another investment into the samsung ecosystem so you got to think about that but if you'd like to see a full comparison between these two let me know down below in the